Narcissists only care about themselves, part one. They only care about satisfying their own desires, interests or needs. They don't care about you. They don't care about how it affects you. All they care about is their own desires, interests or needs. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They lack the ability to share your feelings or experiences because they are too preoccupied with their own experience. Their personal experience in life takes priority over anyone else. They have no empathy, compassion, morals or humanity because they are so obsessively driven to satisfy their own insatiable desires. That takes priority over anyone or anything else. The only thing that's ever on their mind is how they're going to feed their ego. How they're going to create a situation or circumstance where they can then feel special or important. This is the only thing that really matters to them. It's a fantasy that first exists in their heads. And once they are able to visualize it, they will do whatever it takes to make it a reality. This is why they can be so controlling. This is why they have such a strong desire for power. This is why they always have to put people down. It feeds their ego. It makes them feel special or important. But it's never really a reality. It's always a fantasy or an illusion. They just manage to trick people into validating it. There is nothing special or important about them and they know it. And that is why they have to do all of this to tailor make these artificial situations or circumstances. Because if they didn't intervene it would never happen naturally. They would never experience a situation where they might feel special or important. Which is why they have to use force or threats. They have to make people do what they want them to do. Or they will trick or deceive them. They will cheat, lie or steal because they know it would never develop naturally. They know that they do not possess the capabilities or potential to establish anything significant or meaningful on their own. And that is why they have to plan or coordinate the elements of a situation to produce their desired effect, to get people to validate their illusions, get people to believe in the fantasy. That's the only thing that makes it feel real to them. And that is why they are dependent on people to validate their illusions. But it's never real. It's either developed by force or they've managed to trick people into doing what they want them to do. They have such a desperate need to be in control. And they always have to feel as though they are superior to everyone around them. 
So whenever they do have influence or authority over anything, it always results in failure. It always results in some kind of disaster. Because they're self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They only care about what they want. But when you're working in a partnership or in a team, you have to take the needs and interests of the other people. If you want to be successful, if you want to establish anything significant or meaningful, the problem is, the narcissist goes into these things like it's every man for himself. Like their needs or interests are the only things that matter. Which eventually results in them not getting what they want either. Narcissists have an inferiority complex. They have an unrealistic feeling of general inadequacy caused by actual or supposed inferiority in one's sphere. Which is sometimes compensated by aggressive behaviour. Where they may then be likely to attack or confront you. Because they feel inferior to you. They believe that you are better than they are. In many situations, this can cause you to become a target. You become an object of their attention or attack, where they then direct all forms of abuse at you. They become fixated on you. They develop an obsessive attachment to you. You continually preoccupy or intrude on their mind. Where they can't stop thinking about you. They can't let things go. Because something about you has injured them. It has made them feel some type of way. But they don't want to self-reflect or go within. It's too painful for them to accept that they feel inferior to you. It's too painful for them to accept that they are envious or jealous of you. It's much easier and more comfortable for them to assume that something is wrong with you or that you are trying to hurt them. So when they go to attack or confront you, they see it as though they are getting revenge. They see it as though they are harming you in return for something you have done to them. Because they feel hurt. They feel angry or upset. And they see their feelings as facts. If they feel angry or upset in their minds, that must mean that you must have done something to them to cause them to feel that way. So they then believe that their behaviour is justified. They believe that it is right or reasonable. They have a dualistic mentality. They see everything in black or white. Good or bad. Right or wrong. They believe that if someone is winning, someone else must be losing. They see people as either being winners or losers. There is nothing in between. And of course, they don't want to be the losers. So any time that they see someone who they believe to be winning, they will have a desire to cause loss to them. They will feel the need to do something, to sabotage them in some way. Because that other person's success is making them feel like a loser. It is triggering them to reflect on their inferiority complex. So they will feel a desire or need 
to cause loss to them, to sabotage them in some way. Not because they want to be the winners, but because they don't want to be the losers. They don't like the feeling of losing. Because deep down, they already believe that they are the losers. And they're just doing everything they can to avoid having to reflect on how they really feel about themselves. So if they have to tear you down, just to feel like they're not losers for a moment, that is something they will do. Narcissists cannot deal with someone succeeding more than them. It triggers them to reflect on their inferiority complex. And that is not something that they want to deal with. They don't want to acknowledge that they feel inferior to you. They don't want to acknowledge that they are envious or jealous of you. So instead of reflecting on these emotions, they will try to destroy you. They will try to sabotage your success. This then feeds their ego and makes them feel as though they are special or important. It is very dangerous to be involved with a narcissist. It will never result in a favorable or positive outcome. You will always leave with less than you came in with. People can only do one of two things. They can either build or destroy. And narcissists definitely destroy everything you bring around them. They should not be trusted with anything of significance or value. because their selfish desires or motives will only result in damage and destruction in the end. They are driven by their own self-hatred to destroy anything of significance or value that other people possess so that they can feel powerful, so that they can feel in control of something rather than feeling insecure, rather than feeling a lack of confidence in their own qualities or abilities. And that is why narcissists were never meant to have power. They were never meant to have the ability to direct or influence the behaviors of others at the course of events. Because they will only abuse their power. They will only use their power to destroy those who they believe to be superior to them. Rather than building a platform for them and giving them the power to make decisions, which will result in a more favorable outcome for the group. Narcissists cannot see things in this way because they only care about themselves. They only care about their own selfish needs or desires. They have no interest in helping other people. Especially people who they see as more superior than they are. Even if it is more favorable for them in the end. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries can email me at outsourcecoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.